What's up guys, Genius Pie Trap, and this is another Steam tutorial talking about downloads. We're talking download regions, download speeds, and how to download and update games while playing other Steam games. First thing we're going to do in the upper left hand corner is click on Steam. Go down to our settings and go down to downloads. Now let's first talk about right here the second section down, download region. This automatically defaults to the closest download service server location. In my case, Minneapolis in the United States. Now, if I'm noticing slow download speeds, it might be because this download server location is having problems. Or maybe it's just being overburdened by a lot of people using it at that time. It's like maybe a peak hour. So I can change this. I could change it to, say, Detroit or Los Angeles or even something like Romania maybe in Romania everybody's sleeping and nobody's using their download server locations so I can switch it over to Romania and have better speeds and that a lot of times fixes any problems now the next thing is a lot of people don't think they can download or update games while playing another Steam game. And that's true by default, but we can change that. Right here, allow downloads during gameplay. Select it. If this is checked, Steam may initiate or continue downloading updates while you have a game or other Steam application running. You can also override this on a per game basis, which we'll talk about. So now with this selected, I can say for example, buy Broforce, which is an awesome game buy it and start the download say it's going to take 45 minutes and play another game like say rust while broforce downloads now i don't want that to happen on every single game i don't want that to steal my bandwidth say for example team fortress 2 this is an online game that relies on your internet connection and you don't want your bandwidth to be stolen by other games downloading or updating while playing it. So, Team Fortress 2, if I right-click it, go down to Properties, second one over, go to Updates. Now right here, Background Downloads. This automatically defaults to what we just switched. And, you know, in our case, Allow Background Downloads. I can select that here on a per-game basis to... Always allow background downloads or never allow background downloads. So now with never allow background downloads selected, anytime I play Team Fortress 2, it will never download a game or update a game, stealing my bandwidth while playing Team Fortress 2. And you can do just the opposite. Say we left it on default and we wanted, say for example, Skyrim. It's a single player game that doesn't rely on internet. So we could go to Skyrim and select always allow background downloads because it doesn't really matter to use your internet connection during that sort of game and that's pretty much it hope you guys hope that helped you guys out if you guys have any questions put it in the comments if you guys have any other ideas for videos please feel free to tell me i'm always happy to hear them don't forget to join my steam group subscribe to my page talk to you guys later genius pie trap over and out later bye Victory. The outcome was never really in doubt. Eat my dust. Let's have a go at it. Godspeed, you magnificent bastard.